Hey guys, so we're working on our uh, Everlasting Bundle mini album that we're making and we just finished the backside of the second page. Um, I will link my templates and the playlist for the Everlasting on YouTube uh, in the description box below and uh, any and all products that I, that I use will be linked in the description box below. But I wanted to do the insert. So this is the spine and again I put a piece of post-it note here so they remind me that that's the spine side just like i did on the first page so there's a <laughs> because if you remember from the last album i had i flip-flopped some pages accidentally and it didn't really cause a problem but i had to adjust so for the first page insert we made a booklet which um i got glue on there which i love i love a lot so it's this is the uh, main, or excuse me, the side pocket insert option B with the little fancy edge for the big one. And then the little one is inside and it's cute. I just think, I just think, I, it, this is just turning out so cute. I, I just can't even say enough. And then there's the back, whoops, whoops. I've got the sticker kind of peeled up. So there's the back side of that. I don't know, I just think it's super cute, super cute. So. I'm gonna do something a little bit different this time. I know why the sticker's peeling up. It's because I need to glue it down so it doesn't get stuck when I put it back in here. Oops, I gotta put it back in the right spot. Of course, once it's in a book, it's not as hard to, um, not as hard to handle. Yeah, there's nothing stuck. I'm just going in crooked, there we go. And I didn't put anything here yet, and I don't think I'm going to put anything on this one as well. I'm going to wait till I think the end to see what, all what stuff I have left over. But, um, but anyway, so let's make the side pocket insert for the second page. So I'm going to set that aside. So what we're going to need is we're going to use page number six, which is the side pocket insert uh, option A for the big everlasting. So what I did with this is I printed from the uh, muted backgrounds, I printed the color number two on one side and then I flipped it over and printed color number 12, which is this one, on the other side and then I printed page number six in the wood background design on top of the pink side. So this is what we end up with. So it's gonna be, uh, have color on both sides this is 110 pound cardstock, but you can use whatever cardstock that you have. It does not have to be 110 pound. Um, this is 110 pound, but it's not like super, super duper thick. So, you know, it could be, you might be using, some people are having trouble with some of their cardstock going through their printers. You might have a different type of cardstock. It might be thicker uh, and more stiff. So, um, you know, mine is 110 pound, but I get mine at Staples. So, um, let's see, what else? Oh, and then we were going to use, I'm going to use this pocket here. This was from the page when we did, whoa, got things flying around. Um, from this insert, from this page right here. So this is the other part of that page, and that is page number seven from the Mini Everlasting. So we're going to use this pocket from the Mini Everlasting, and then the side pocket insert from the Everlasting. So I don't think I'm going to be matting anything. So let me put this aside. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is going to be so easy, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Oh. All the way around. So now we have the front side or the front side, actually this is going to be on the back, with the uh, wood background design printed on it. This is printed in grayscale as well, the wood part. And then there's the other side. So this is the side that we're going to use this piece on. So let me, um, let me go ahead and cut this straight edge right here. I'm going to put this aside. So we are going to be using this as a pocket, and the insert goes in this way. So if you've got the wood grain background, it's going, um, the wood grain's going up and, you know, up and down and not sideways. So it'll go in just like this. And it'll be sticking out just a little bit on the side. So the reason I'm using this one is, is I want to kind of show you that you can use both of the side pocket inserts. You don't have to just stick with 
um, the option B one if you start with the option B. You can use, you can go back and forth uh, interchangeably and it's gonna look good either way. So I don't think you can really mess these up. I really don't. So I am going to take a minute to trim this out. These are Cutter B scissors. My paper trimmer, by the way, is a Fiskars Pro, <laughs> Pro Cision uh, Rotary Paper Trimmer. That is linked uh, below in my Amazon list if you want to check it out. So I'm not being super careful here, but I should be, but I'm not. So I'm trimming this top edge out and I'm going to go ahead and notch these corners real quick. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to score these edges. This is a EK Tools scoreboard. And this is an EK Tools stylus. Stylus. All right, we're going to go ahead and prep this just to look. I, I went I went a little too a little too aggressive there in my scoring. That's why I switched to the other side, the other ball. It depends on the thickness of your cardstock, you know, and how hard you push. And I tend to be slightly heavy-handed. And it's not really a good thing when you're doing something like that. So I'm going to take some double-sided adhesive. This is score tape. And I'm going to put it on all three of these tabs. And I'm going to use my Tim Holtz tonic scissors. And oops. I'm going to burnish. I'm going to burnish the uh, tape on there just a sec. For just a sec. <laughs> this is a Teflon bone folder. Guys, I am still sick. I think I've been sick for like a month now. Um, anyway, this is a Teflon bone folder. I love this thing. So now I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to attach this long piece to these two side pieces here. Just like that. And then I'm going to ink the edges. Oh, that reminds me. Um, this is the ink that we're using for this mini album. This is Distress Oxide in Black Soot by Ranger and Tim Holtz. But I, I've been getting asked questions about why am I using the Distress Oxide Black Soot versus the Distress uh, black soot, the two different, here's my other one, and I know it's going to be hard to see, but that is Distress, <laughs> Distress Ink in Black Soot. Can you see it right there? Can you see that? This is a pretty old ink pad. So, I wanted to show you, I did a little comparison because there is a difference, and it's hard to explain it, so I'm just going to show it to you. So, here are they here they are side by side this is the regular black soot and this is the oxide black soot and you see how they're just different like tones all together so let me show you with the uh with a page here of why i chose the oxide versus the regular the regular black just seems so um like bright you know like so I don't even know, I don't even know the right word to explain it. When it comes to this paper line, it just seemed too black, right? And then this one, you see how it's really soft? It's almost like a smoky, um, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, but it goes with this paper line so much better than this dark purplish, bluish, purple, blue, black, <laughs> I don't even know, but. So these, the top part here, I added water, so you can see kind of what it looks like, but then the bottom part here is just straight up, no water added, and you can really see the difference in the two. So the oxide to me is a just a little bit uh, softer, and it just looks better with this paper line. So that is why I'm using the oxide uh, black soot versus the regular black soot, but you, you use whatever you want. You don't have to use the same inks that I'm using, but that is why I chose the oxide versus the regular because of the difference in their tones. So, okay. 
So that's that. So I was getting asked that question, so I thought I would just go ahead and answer it. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna ink this pocket. This is a blending tool by Ranger, and this one's actually a Tim Holtz one, pretty sure. They don't all say Tim Holtz. Has anybody else noticed that? And then I'm gonna ink both sides of this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got both sides inked of this, and then I've got this inked. So, um, with this one, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the pink on the back side, so it's gonna be uh, like this, right? So I'm gonna put the pocket on this side. Also, I did that too because this has the wood grain on it, um, and then I printed the wood grain back here, so I just figured I would um, just kind of, you know, share the wood grain. <laughs> you know, like share the wealth. No. <laughs> I just thought it looked better, but more pleasing to the eye. So I'm going to attach this pocket down to this side pocket insert here. Just real quick. Oh, I just put this in the garbage. That would be bad. Okay. So I'm going to do it this way. And I'm just going to eyeball it like I usually do. My huge. And I'm gonna give this a good burnish. I don't know, I just think it's fun to have little fun surprises um, when you pull things out. You know what I'm saying? When you pull uh, inserts and stuff out. I think it's just fun to have extra little surprises. So there's that pocket. So now I need to figure out what I wanna put inside the pocket. So let me grab my embellishment stuff. And let's see, let me grab these. And um, num, 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 bum, bum. grab some stickers. Let's see what else what I might want. Oh, you know what I also wanted to point out too. I did take one of those sheets from the paper line, the Zella Teal, that has all of the cut aparts on the back side, or one side of it has all the cut aparts. I did go ahead and cut one of them apart. Um, so so far. We haven't even used in the whole 12 by 12. Let me grab it. So far in this whole 12 by 12 paper pack, there are uh, two of each design, which there's, which well, there's actually four. But since they're double sided, there's two of each one of these designs, and we haven't even used one of each one of the designs yet. So um, that's why I go ahead and pull out one of each design so that you know you can go through and you can use and when you're making an album this is how i like to do it you can use all of them up before you duplicate a paper do you know what i'm saying so we haven't even went through one of each yet which is awesome um but anyway so i cut apart the sheet the one that has the one that's really pretty it's got the lined oh you can't see it's got the lined paper and it's got the flowers we just used it uh on this one so we just used it. So the other side of this paper has the cut aparts on it. And then we used one of the cut aparts here. So anyway, I went ahead and cut some of these apart because I thought, well, if they're already cut, you know, then I'm more likely to stick them in a pocket or something. So I did that already. Let's see. So then I think I want to um, use something pink in here. So this is from my Build Embellishments, the uh, Vintage Notebook, yes. And then this one is the Vintage Ephemera Build Embellishments, and I'm thinking maybe something like this, just to have a few tags in there, maybe. And then I wanna put something, something here. So I just don't know what yet. Let me scoot this a little closer so I can see. There's my mom's washi tape. I wonder what that would look like on that gray. Is there a green one in here or did I use it? Did I use both pieces? I might have. I hope you couldn't see my head just then. Um, let me see what, uh, let me see, let me see. Well, maybe I used a whole piece of it somehow or another. Well, that's okay. Uh, there's some pink. So 
here's some green. I must have. So let me rip off another piece of this. Those are all big, big, big. Um, let me go ahead and rip a couple. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to do that, Jen. I ripped it. I ripped it bad. <laughs> But I do like the ripped look versus the cut look, so if that means anything. <laughs> so we could do like a couple pieces, beautiful dream that says, that's kind of sweet. A couple pieces of the washi on there. And then we've got some smaller Build a bellish. Let me grab those other ones that I just put back. <laughs> and some sequins. All right. So I'm just going to start fiddling and playing because I really, really like the whole layered embellishment look that we've been that we've been having that we got going on here lately. So let me just keep looking here and see if I can find something that I like. You know, I'm kind of wondering if I should do like, have that come across to kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to do it and then, and then I'm just going to stick it down. So that it has to stay there. It just has to stay there. So remember, my mom made me this for Christmas. I probably should have cut that a straight edge. And since we used it in this page, oh, well, that looks cute. Let me flip this over. Oh, I might have to cut that. Hang on. And since we've already used some of this in this page, I think it's cute. Oh, no, we better rip that edge there. And then, I don't want to cover that up. I don't even have to go to the edge. Let's just go right there. So it just kind of ties everything in, you know? And then we're going to have to do something on this side, too, I think. But yeah, I really think the washi tape is cute. What do you guys think? All right, now let's see if we can find some other stuff here to put on here. I know it says beautiful. And now I don't want to cover that up. So, maybe we won't put anything else on here. Maybe, maybe. Oh, what do y'all think? That's cute. I'm going to have to glue that all the way down, though. That's really cute. I like that. And then that follows my rule of threes. I like it, I like it, I like it. What about a puffy sticker? Should we put one down here on the thingy? Or up here? Mm, how about a flat sticker? Oh, that's the one I... Ooh, but then that'll be four things. If I stuck that down there. Mm -hmm. I like this just like this. What do you guys, what do you guys think? I think that's cute. It looks like, I think that's cute. All right, I'm gonna glue it down. I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac. These are just the embellishment pieces from the paper line, the Zella Teal. So I'm gonna use this, I got me a new bottle of Fabri-Tac out 
And I am going to glue the whole thing down because this is an insert, so it's going to be um, pulled in and out. Uh, I kind of want to... No, just go ahead and do what you first said because it's a good idea. And let's put it right there. That's cute. Oh, that's got seepage. So, oh, I should have inked that. Oh, you guys, I get so excited. I forget what I'm doing. Oh, well. That's fine. And so I've got these two pieces. Um, I can just ink them up and just leave them be. Let me go ahead and ink them. I don't know why. I kind of want to put a paper clip to keep them together so that they don't flop around. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to use one of these little, um, these are just little Tim Holtz paper clips, these tiny mini, mini paper clips. I'm going to try that. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to stick them together like that. But I do kind of want to, I want to write the word love, I think. This is a Tombow um, dual brush marker. And I think I'm just going to write the word love. Just like that. this color is N55, by the way, if you guys are interested. It is, if, if it'll focus, <laughs> it is linked in my Amazon list below. But I love Tombow markers. And see how sweet that, that's just soft and sweet. I like that. Love. So now it makes me want to scoot. Even though you're not going to see it until you pull the tag out, I just want to, I just want to pull it back a little bit. Yes. I've got a little bit of glue seepage over here. Don't you love this washi tape? I think mom did a good job. Should I put washi tape on the back side? No, I'm just going to leave it because that would be a great spot for a big photo or some journaling or both. So I'm going to leave that like that, I think. Yeah. All right, so let's let's focus on this side and see what we can come up with. Okay, so uh, let's think about this side here. I don't want to do too much because I want it to have space for a big photo. So I think these cards might be too big, but one of these smaller ones might be kind of cute. I already used that one, Pure Joy. What about this Happy? Right, that might be cute. And then remember I tore this off of, what did I tear this off of? I tore it off of something. What did I tear that from? Oh, I know what it is. <laughs> this part right here, I tore that off of that bottom there. That might be cute here to add. Maybe back here like this. And then maybe we'll stick some washi tape. Oh, maybe we'll do that, and then have this sticking over top like this. Well, I'm going to be covering up a butterfly, but it's okay. What do you guys think? You think that's okay? Maybe I'll just get a different piece. Let's just use a different piece. 
So I'm going to tear this a little bit. So we just have like a layer of that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ink. I'm going to ink this card. And then I'm going to ink this. All the way around. And then I need to get I need to guess. I need to see how much maybe I'm gonna use here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna glue this down first. This is gonna stay, I think I'll leave this this one open on the top so you can put a photo behind it. But I think I'm gonna glue these this piece down all the way. Like that. And then let's do the washi tape. Mama Beeb's washi tape. Let's tear it at an angle just a little. Where's that back in? I might use that for something else. Oh, it was almost down. Right there. And have that right there. Yep. All right, I'm just going to glue the bottom about three fourths of an inch there. And then I feel like there needs to be, I need to find a place to put this sequence. This little baggie just isn't working. So I think I'm going to add a couple sequins on here. Maybe not. Well, I certainly don't need that much. Okay. Where is my... Oops. I'm going to use the Glossy Accents by Ranger. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in this heart. Well, let's see what that looks like just sitting there. Oh. One in the heart. And then have maybe two up here. That's why I got my little sticky thing out. And then maybe have two up here in their corner, maybe. Or have one over here. Perfect. I like that. So I'm going to stick one here. Uh oh. So I have my little stick pin stuck to stuck through the label here, the bottle, just so that I can um, quickly unclog it. One there. One there. And one there. Okay. So stick one here. <laughs> I got glue everywhere, you guys. Stick one here. And stick one there. Just because we can, right? I like it. Boy, that dressed that right up, didn't it? It's so cute. I'm totally digging. Totally digging. All right, should I put some? I probably should put some of that. I hope I didn't get stuck. Maybe I should put some sequins over here, too. 
So this is going to be, maybe not though. I like the way this looks. Through in there. Maybe I have one up here since it's so plain. Why not? Let's just do it. There is no police that's going to come and say, bad idea, bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. In order, the, the way I like to clean my tip of my nozzle, my glossy accents, is I know it seems kind of wasteful, but I just squeeze the end of it out. You can tap it first, but I just squeeze it out until it comes out and like pops out, and then put my lid on it. It just kind of clears the nozzle. Or you can just use a stick pen, either way. All right, so I'm gonna stick this down here. Boop. This one here. Boop. This one here. Boop. <laughs> okay, I like it, that's cute. I'm just feeling like this needs something. What do you think? Don't you think it needs something? Maybe another insert? Hmm. Let me grab my, all my scraps over here. Whoa. I keep throwing that one out. I don't know why. What about making a that's it. That's all I needed. I just needed one more thing. I'm going to make that a tag. I'm going to make a tag. So we did that already with, on another page, on, on this one. We used it right here on the front side of this page that we're working on. So I think I am going to I'm gonna put a thingy. I'm going to put a thing. What color am I going to use? That one won't show up very well. Let's do the pink. Let's do the pink on both sides. Yeah. So I'm going to eyeball the center. I could measure it. I could. But I didn't. We're just going with it. And I'm gonna flip it over and put one on the back side here. Like that. And so now I need to decide if it needs a string or not. And if I'm gonna keep it square. I think I'm I'm even gonna keep it square, but I am gonna ink it real quick. Okay, so let me straighten up real quick, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got everything cleaned up. So here's my two uh, pages so far, and here's my insert. Looks so good, so good, and there's the back side. Okay, so it goes in here on this side. All right, let's see how much trouble I'm gonna have um, getting this in here, hopefully none. Okay. Oops, what are we hitting here? All right, let me look. Let me look. What are we hitting? No, nothing. We're hitting nothing. Maybe we're hitting something back here. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have a little bit of trouble with things like sequence sticking up. So with the sequence was stopping me from going all the way in. But that's about where it's going to stop um, in the whole scheme of things. So it fits in perfectly. Look at how pretty that is on the back side, the pink. I just love this, you guys. I just love this. So now we've got two full pages done. Woohoo! What do y'all think? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I got excited. Okay, so <laughs> let me know what you guys think um, in the comment section below. Be sure to check out the description box for all of the uh, links to the templates and links to products and things that I use. It's all down there. Um, there's Amazon links, there's uh, scrapbooking store links, there's all kinds of stuff down there. So be sure to open the description box and check everything out. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. 
And um, I'm just, it's, I just, I don't know, you guys. I'm just thinking that that just snazzed everything right on up. Snazzed it up, jazzed it up, whatever. <laughs> um, but anyway, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the circle right there. And you may want to check out some of the other videos that you see on the screen. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.